All right, JJ Solomon here with the Spit Bucket Podcast with Mr. David Benavides himself. David, how's it going? How's Texas treating you? Everything's been good, man. I love Texas. You know, every time I come here, you know, the hospitality uh, is, is amazing. Everybody's cool as fuck. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's dope to come back here all the time. Thoughts on the fight tomorrow? It's going to be an exciting fight, bro. Uh, Ugas is a tough customer. Uh, Earl Spence is a great champion, too. So, it's going to be a close fight, bro. I feel like it's going to be the person who has the most heart, but... I feel like the fans are going to win. It's going to be entertaining from round one to round 12. 100. Any concerns about the eye? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I don't think there's going to be uh, any problems uh, with the eye, but we'll see. You know, we'll see, but it's, it's going to be good. All right, hey, listen, what's next for you? You look like you're in shape, bro. What's, what you got planned? I fight uh, May 21st in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, bro. I fight for the WBC Interim World title. It's going to be great, man. I've been uh, training since January. Very, um, very motivated right now. I'm so li- good, so yeah, I'm going to go in there and get a knockout. After that fight here with, with Lemieux, what fight are you looking forward to next? Um, like, fight? I feel like we can get the Caleb Plant fight. And I feel like that's the fight that's going to be made for, uh, what's his name, uh, Andrade. Uh-huh. I think that's going to be a good fight, but I think those are the fights are going to get made too. So you say, I say I say on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the, the most uh, optimistic, <laughs> how, how confident are you that the Caleb Plant fight can be made next? It might be a 9, bro. I think we oh, might be there, you know, because if I get this title, I'm gonna have a lot of leverage, you know. Why wouldn't you want to fight for WBC interim title? Well, I, the reason I asked that because there's, you know, you one of the fighters where even though you have belts, it's still hard getting guys in the ring with you because yeah. they, they see you such a big risk. Yeah. So I mean, what, do you feel confident that? You I mean, know, you're saying, will step into the challenge? You're saying that he wants to get. That he you know, y'all to, have history too. So. Yeah, he's, exactly. We have history. It's gonna be a big fight. You know, I feel like it'll make a lot of money. And uh, he said he wanted a rematch. He wanted to rematch Caleb Plant. I mean, yeah. Canelo Alvarez. He wants to say he wanted to rematch Canelo Alvarez. So he's not going to get there without fighting. So, I mean, that's why I think I'm very comfortable being made. Hey, we all saw Tyson calling you the Mexican monster. Yeah. Uh, hot boxing. Did anything change from that point on out when he had Charlo on there for you? Did you get more phone calls? Did uh, people start hitting you up? Or, nah, or what, what were your thoughts on that? A lot of people don't have my number, so I don't. You know, <laughs> like that, but, uh, All right. Um, All right nah, it was, uh, yeah, it was. I mean, he's, uh, he's cool, bro. I mean, Mike Tyson's super cool. It just it boosted my confidence a little bit more and it made me even more hungry. But if I got the world, you know, a monster, a real monster like Mike Tyson saying that I'm a monster, you know, it just makes me really happy. Yes, sir. We appreciate you, bro. Good luck in your future. We're looking forward to seeing what you got next, brother. Take it easy, man.